What's up? I'm Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, functional medicine practitioner, licensed pharmacist, and fitness enthusiast. I help clients resolve bloating gas and other digestive issues so they can look and feel their best. If you have digestive symptoms that you're trying to correct, there's a good chance that you take supplements. I'll even take it a step further and say there's a very good chance that these supplements you take by mouth. Although you may be very consistent and can stand your routine perfectly, have you ever thought that maybe there's a chance that your body just isn't absorbing the supplements well enough? A new study published by Johns Hopkins University in August of 2020 shows that there may be a trick to getting better absorption of supplements that are taken by mouth. This study wanted to determine if how you sit after taking a supplement by mouth affects how the pill can empty from the stomach down into the small intestine. Why are we even talking about this at all and why are they even looking into this? The reason is if you look at a photo of a stomach, it's not perfectly symmetrical. It's not shaped like a funnel where everything just empties downwards in the same manner. The stomach is actually shaped more like the letter J or whatever else you really consider this shape to be. So they thought perhaps you could influence how quickly the pill is absorbed into the small intestines based on how you sit after you take the pill. To do this, this study had all the patients swallow a special pill that could be tracked once it enters the stomach. And then the patients were divided into four groups. Group one was instructed to sit regularly upright after swallowing the pill. Group two was instructed to lean to the right at about a 45 degree angle. And then group three was instructed to do the same thing except lean to the left. And then finally group four was instructed to lean back 45 degrees, which is definitely everybody's favorite. You just sit back in your seat at about 45 degrees. This may seem like a very insignificant difference in your posture, but the results were actually pretty surprising. If you're a visual learner like me, check out this graph and I'll explain what the results say. So this graph is measuring the API, which is the active pharmaceutical ingredient. Basically in these special pills that they had the patient swallow, there's a dummy drug in there that they can track how much is being released. That's what's on the vertical left side here. And then running horizontally, they measure it in respect to time. So this is time in seconds on the bottom. And now for the results. So first up, these kind of reddish orange dots and triangles on here, this is posture one. These are patients that are leaning to the right after eating. When you look at this result, you see that the API increases much more quickly than the rest of the groups. This means that in the beginning, the drug is releasing quicker into the small intestines. And then there's these purple squares and these blue circles where the results are pretty similar. And the purple squares are, that's posture three, so that's leaning back at 45 degrees and the blue circles are the people that are sitting upright. So as you can see, there's a decently good absorption where the medication's being absorbed into the small intestines, and then it eventually reaches kind of a plateau and meets the same point that posture one does. So they're a little bit slower to get absorbed initially, but after a little bit of time, it looks like after about six minutes or so, they're actually being absorbed at the exact same rate as the people leaning to the right. So ultimately, probably not much difference in those three groups, the leaning to the right, upright, and then leaning back. However, if we look at posture two, these yellow diamonds down at the bottom, these are people that are leaning to the left after eating. And based on the way the stomach is shaped, it looks like there's not really any absorption of any of this active pharmaceutical ingredient. Basically, none of this drug's getting absorbed. It's sitting in the stomach and it's not working. Even over time, as opposed to the other three groups that eventually get up to a spot where they're releasing the drug well into the small intestines. Leaning to the left never looks like it reaches that point where it's really absorbing the drug into your body. Obviously, there's some limitations to the study that it only goes 400 seconds being one of them, which is just under seven minutes. Perhaps if this was studied for a lot longer time, leaning to the left wouldn't make a big difference in the long run. But based on this study, it's a pretty significant change. From this study, it found that leaning to the left after eating resulted in an 83% reduction in the active drug being absorbed into your small intestines, which is very significant. 
Again, why is there such a dramatic change in these results? As I mentioned briefly before, the shape and orientation of the stomach in the body is the key factor. Check out this other figure from the study and it will make a lot more sense. We see that the stomach, which is shown here in red, sits at about a 45 degree angle in the torso. If the stomach sits at 45 degrees already and we tip to the right 45 degrees, what happens is we're now using gravity to our advantage and if you look at posture one in this figure here, you see that you are now using gravity to your advantage. And just one more note to help you understand this figure better, the tiny little red dot in each of the stomachs shown here, that is the pill. And remember, we're trying to put the stomach in the best possible position to use gravity to pull the pill down. So in posture one, you see that it's technically using gravity probably to the best advantage possible, but also the upright posture and the leaning back posture, which is posture three in the lower right hand corner, also seem like they would be effective. Now look at posture two, which is the lower left hand photo. This is leaning to the left 45 degrees. In this case, the pill actually has to work against gravity to reach the small intestines. And this explains why leaning left after taking a pill is not ideal, and maybe it'll make you reconsider your favorite seat on the sofa. This entire study does talk about taking pills and the release of the medication. It has also been previously researched that leaning to the right after eating does increase gastric emptying, which is the rate at which food and the food contents leave the stomach and enter the small intestines. And for a lot of people, especially people that may have motility issues, this possibly could be helpful. All right, what can we take away from this study? My one biggest takeaway would be that it's probably a good idea to avoid leaning on your left side after eating. The data I went over in this study is pretty compelling and there's also been previous studies that have essentially said a very similar thing. One quick note though on this, this is assuming that you do indeed want the medication to get absorbed into the small intestines quicker. There are a couple cases where this actually may not be what you want. For example, if you're trying to treat a stomach acid with the medication sucralfate, you want that pill or that liquid to remain in the stomach as long as possible so it can coat the stomach and reduce the pain from the ulcers. And then the other takeaway is that this study suggests that leaning to your right after taking a medication may help it get absorbed into the body quicker and start working faster. More research is probably needed on this topic, but it may be a simple trick to use after taking supplements or after eating to get better digestion and better absorption. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like and smash that subscribe button for more videos. I post a new one every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Thank you and take care.